Today, we're going to talk about reading the Bible, speaking the Bible, and doing the Bible. All three go together, and all three are very, very important. So I want you to listen with an open heart, an open mind, and with a commitment that you're not going to think, oh, that's too hard, I can't do all that. But you're going to think, I can do it. And of course, you can call us for prayer. We like to pray for your needs. That's special to us. I was raised after I got born again on prayer. So I know, I know how prayer works. It's a big deal. Prayer is a big deal in your life. And so today, we're going to talk about the Bible, how to read it, how to speak it, and how to do it. You know, the Bible isn't just some big Bible you put up on a shelf. The Bible is something that you get into your heart and you let it work in your life, in your family's life, in your finances, in your health. You know, it, it's just super, super important. So God desires the Word to be the center of your life. And I can tell you, you will never be sorry. And if you have used to do it and you don't do it now, well, repent <laughs> and do it. Start reading it. Okay, if you abide, this is what Jesus said. Oh, oh, oh. If you abide in my word and you are my disciples indeed, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And I think that's something we want to con consistently be in the truth making us free and I have found if you don't have a plan you plan to fail so I'm encouraging you to get a plan and to listen to me and get your plan and of course I encourage you to get my book read it speak it do it because honestly of all the things I've written this is the best. This applies to everyone. And this works. And I have a lot of people who would tell you that it works. So just keep that in mind. Now, what is God's word? God's word is seed. So if you never get in the word, you never speak the word, you never pray the word, you never act the word, you're not putting any seed in to have a harvest. Well, where's my harvest? Well, where's the Bible? So listening to me, I want you to get hooked on the book. And so I'm so hooked on the book. That's the first thing I think of in the morning, coffee <laughs> and Bible. And believe me, it has worked the miraculous in my life. And I have gone to many, many countries that don't even believe in women, but believe in me. But it's because of the Bible. And God will do the miraculous in you. You say, well, that's just you, Marilyn Hickey. No, it's not just me. He, he didn't just say, this Bible was just written for Marilyn. This Bible was written for you. And you have to put it into faith, get it cooking. You know what I'm saying? So God's word is seed. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible continually speaks about the law of sowing and reaping. And so you say, well, you know, I, I don't get answers to my prayer. Are you praying the Bible? Are you praying the word? It's the word that doesn't return void. It didn't just say your prayer. prayers don't return void. But praying the promise, that's the big key. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I need to pray the promise, and I need to speak the promise to the problem. And of course, you know you can call us for prayer. We love to pray, but you need to pray the promise. Don't just, oh, I'll just call them for prayer. No, 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 you need both. You need prayer and promise. So I'm gonna nag you a little bit. Remember, I used to be a school teacher. <laughs> All right. now. Jesus said that God's word is seed. So in the beginning, this is at the very beginning, 
It says the word was with God and the word was God. What did God put forth at the beginning? The word. Why did he put forth the word? Because he wanted seed. Why did he want seed? Because he wanted provisions. And that's so key for you. So I like this. The word became flesh. Jesus became flesh, dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So you say, well, I can do this without the Bible. Honey, you can't do it without the Bible. You need to get your life into the Bible. Well, I don't feel like it. I'm not talking about how you feel. I'm talking about your faith. And sometimes in the morning, I feel about as miraculous as a bug. I don't feel that real, oh, whoopie do. it's another day. But I have a pattern of faith. And that's what I want you to have, a pattern of faith. And usually once you have done this over a period of time, you begin to feel very, what can I say, committed to it. You just think this is my normal thing. And of course, read it, speak it, do it will help you with it no end. You must get the book and books for friends that they can see how important this is. Do you want to be successful? You say, well, you were probably just born into a successful family. No, I really was not. You know, my father had a mental breakdown. My mother was sick a lot, but I found the word to be healing and health in them and for me and for you. Hey guys, this is Debbie Kirk with Kirk Ministries, and I just want to encourage you today to get Marilyn Hickey's new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, as she offers a blueprint on how she studies the Word of God. And as you know, everything that Marilyn does is rooted out of the Word of God. So get your copy today and it will bless you. Man, she has blessed me over the years with her uh, revelation of the Word of God, her emphasis on speaking the Word of God, her emphasis on acting on the Word of God. You're going to be blessed uh, how to take the Word of God and meditate on it, speak it out, and apply it in your life. Pick up a copy of Marilyn's new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, on MarilynAndSarah.org. I'm a firm believer that in the battle of spiritual warfare, it's the Word of God that's going to help us have victory. And that's exactly what Marilyn is addressing in this new book of hers. And I hope you'll grab a copy. At age 11, Marilyn asked God a simple question. Where are you? God replied, I'm in the Word. This began a life saturated with the Word of God. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Marilyn's latest book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, the blueprint she has used for reading the Bible, speaking its promises, and acting on what the Word says. Learn practical strategies for reading, studying, and meditating on the Bible, speaking scripture over your life, and walking out the Word in faith. We will also send you Sarah's Devoted to the Bible devotional, their Speak the Word booklet, and Marilyn's Daily Scripture Confessions card. And for your gift of $50 or more, you'll receive a signed copy of Read It, Speak It, Do It to keep for yourself or share with a friend or loved one. Victory begins when you read it, speak it, and do it. Call or click today for this anointed offer. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. I'm so excited, I really am, about my new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It. This is really my life, and it is still my lifestyle, and it is highly productive. I want your life to be highly productive. What I have found is God's Word will bring a harvest. So I can remember when I started and women didn't speak. And so I would have people say to me, don't you know the Bible says a woman shouldn't speak? Well, I didn't really know that, but I spoke and everyone said I would fail, but I have been so blessed with success. Ugh, it's just something else. So we need to speak the word 
into our circumstances. Speak the promises. Speak to the mountain. Get what's on the other side of it. And so people think you're crazy. So what's new? You know, my neighbors may think I'm crazy, but I notice when they want prayer, they come to my house. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? So I look at here and I see that when you begin speaking the promises, it begins working in your seasons of your life. You know, I'm in a, the latter part of my life, but let me tell you, it's just the best. And I think, who am I to have such favor? And even, <laughs> this is hilarious to me, even in Saudi Arabia, they like me and they listen to me because they like old women. So you say, oh, you're too old to do anything. Really? Don't tell me that. God didn't tell me that. The world's not telling me that. So this is very, very wonderful that you can speak these things. So the word has power to move and change circumstances. Have you ever tried to move and change them? And you had a hard time and you got discouraged. But if you take the promises of the word, ooh, Ooh, that's a whole different thing. And of course, you can call us for prayer. We love to pray with you. We love to put prayer with the promise. That's really a good thing. And of course, you need to get the book. Read it. Speak it. Do it. This is really my life. And so you say, well, it doesn't work. Well, that's strange. You know, it's been working for me since I was about nine, ten years old and been with me in so many circumstances all over the world. So you say, well, you know, you're, you're just an old woman. No, I'm an old woman who's acting young. <laughs> and you're going to be blessed by this special time. So it doesn't matter if it's a good season or a bad season. The Word makes it miraculous. Oh. You say, really? You really believe that? I live that. I can tell you from my lifestyle, the word makes the difference. And when I said to God, where are you? What church are you in? I want to go to the church where you are. And I said, are you in the Catholic church? Are you in the Methodist church? And he said to me, I'm in the word. I've never forgotten that. That's so key to me. When I get up in the morning, I think he's in the word. So I need, to, I need him for today. I need him to help me. I don't know how to make, make right decisions. I'm going to get into the word. So if you saw my Bible, you'd say, my goodness, it's mixed up and messed up and written in. Yeah, because I have written all kinds of things because he speaks to me out of the word. How will he speak to you? He will speak to you out of the word. So this is very, very key. You have to have a Bible. You have to have a Bible. You have to crack the Bible. You have to read the Bible. You have to let the Bible read you. And it may lead you to some repentance and to some very special things that will help you to be successful. And I have found God can make you a success in everything. You know, when they said, women can't speak, God told me to speak. And I've been successful all over the world in Muslim countries. Can you imagine? This is awesome. So I've had some of my greatest, biggest, most miraculous meetings in Muslim countries. And so I like to go places maybe where people don't like to go because I believe the Bible will work, and the Bible will work any place. So you need to get it, read it, speak it, do it. You say, well, did you have a Bible education? Well, I think I did because I read it and read it and read it and read it, and it read me. And I believe as you read it, read it, read it, it's going to read you. And you're going to be shocked at how personal it becomes. So I like the fact that you're going to get the book, or maybe you want more than one. You can get several books, and you can pass them on. You can encourage others. 
Sometimes when I sit on my porch, I read my Bible out there because the sun is nice and my neighbors come over and want prayer. You know, don't say, oh, they'll just think I'm a religious nut. Well, if they do, they really like this religious nut. And this religious nut has a lot of favor. So I want you to be sure you get the book, read it, speak it, do it. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I won't forget. I need to read it. I need to speak it. I need to do it. And I need to reap the harvest. And so again, remember, you can call us for prayer. We don't counsel, but we love to pray. So pick up your phone, call us for prayer. And remember, the word works. The word is miraculous. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You want a personal relationship? Get in the Word, honey. She gives us the blueprint from her own experience of how to integrate the Word of God into our daily lives. And as she says, taking the promises of God off the page and into your daily life. So be sure to pick up a copy today. It will definitely bless you and it will draw you deeper into the Word of God and help you live out the promises of God in your daily life. In Marilyn's new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, she teaches you how to take the transforming power of God's Word and apply it to the questions that you might have concerning your life. If you need a miracle, if you're expecting God to do something big, or maybe you're going through a season of spiritual warfare, this book is exactly for you. And I want to encourage you today to get Marilyn's new book, Read It, Speak It, and Do It. It is the power of your words and the power of the Word of God that will enable you to walk out miracles in your life. You don't wanna miss this opportunity to get this new book. At age 11, Marilyn asked God a simple question. Where are you? God replied, I'm in the Word. This began a life saturated with the Word of God. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Marilyn's latest book, Read It, Speak It, Do It. The blueprint she has used for reading the Bible, speaking its promises, and acting on what the Word says. Learn practical strategies for reading, studying, and meditating on the Bible, speaking scripture over your life, and walking out the word in faith. We will also send you Sarah's Devoted to the Bible devotional, their Speak the Word booklet, and Marilyn's Daily Scripture Confessions card. And for your gift of $50 or more, you'll receive a signed copy of Read It, Speak It, Do It to keep for yourself or share with a friend or loved one. Victory begins when you read it, speak it, and do it. Call or click today for this anointed offer. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. I get so excited when I get to have this time with you. It is so wonderful. And God has promises. And who are they for? Everyone but you? No, no, no. They are for you. They are for me. And these promises, thousands of them in God's Word, we have to claim them as ours. And then we appropriate that promise by faith. And that's a big key. And I've learned it kind of is a process, but it works. It's a supernatural process. So I'm looking here. You need to start reading the Bible. Well, where shall I start? I don't know where to start. I've never read the Bible. Well, this is what I'm going to suggest. I would suggest that you start with Psalms. P-S-A-L-M-S, because you think, well, Psalms, what is that? Psalms are very beautiful, and they're written in an easy way to read. And so, you know, start with the Psalms and get into the Psalms. And I like what I do. I like Psalms in the morning, and I also like Proverbs in the morning. So you say, well, what are they? Well, Psalms... P-S-A-L-M-S, -S, you will find, and they're, they're very heartwarming, warming. They just warm your heart up. But Proverbs is very brain warming. So you need heart warming and you need brain warming. 
And that's why I want you to get my book. Read it, speak it, do it, because it will get you involved in the whole picture of the Bible. Yeah. And you say, well, I can't read through the whole Bible. I'm not even a good reader. Well, let the Bible read you because it can. And so I think sometimes when I open up my Bible in the morning, I think, my goodness, this fits my day. And I think, how did God know what my day was? Because he knows all things and because he loves me and because he loves you. And that's so key. So I want you to know that God's promises are for you and you start reading the word and you start with Psalms. Don't skip the Old Testament. The Old Testament is full of the revelation of Jesus. And a lot of people say, well, I've never read the Old Testament. Well, it's inspired. So do you want to miss that part of the inspiration of the word of God? I don't think you do. I think it's very important. So take a pen underline the things that just really resonate with you. So if you looked at my Bible, you'd say, wow, your Bible's really messy because I, I write in it. And I, I write sometimes question marks. I don't understand what you're trying to say here, God, but I'm not getting it. And then I write sometimes stars. Oh, I'm really getting a revelation here. And it's so wonderful and it fits my day. And so I feel like as I do this and take a pen with my Bible, I'm reading the Bible that is reading me. And I love that. I love that. And so when I tell you, get my book, read it, speak it, do it, it gets the Bible actively involved in your life. I mean, what is a big Bible sitting on a shelf gathering dust? A Bible needs to be gathering, pouring out wisdom on you and revelation on you. Give the Bible a break. It's awesome. It's really important. So remember this book, read it, speak it, do it, is for you. And you need to get it. And you need to get the Bible reading habit. Well, it's just too hard for me. Don't tell me it's too hard for you. you. You read some of the Psalms. Read Psalm 1. Is that too hard for you? I don't think so. Read Proverbs 1. Is that too hard for you? I don't think so. I think the more you read the Word, the more the Word reads you, the more you will find the Word is available. Oh, for you on a daily basis in a mass, mass way. And of course, you know you can call us for prayer. Uh, we're not counseling, but we love to pray with you. And we are really excited about getting to do this with you today. So just keep this in mind. Read the Word. Read the Psalms. Remember, Old and New Testament are full of revelation. It all is inspired. And remember also the Bible is reading you. So I find sometimes the things I've read that day won't mean so much at the time I read it. But later in the day, that will come back to my mind. I think, oh my goodness, that was really fitting for this day. God knew I was going to need that. So I'm just, I want you hooked on the book. Folks, I got involved as a child almost in reading the Word. I'm in my, I'm late, you know, I'm going for old, old, old age, and it's still as fresh and new to me. Why? Because it's the living word. At age 11, Marilyn asked God a simple question. Where are you? God replied, I'm in the word. This began a life saturated with the word of God. For your gift of $30 or more, we will send you Marilyn's latest book, Read It, Speak It, Do It, the blueprint she has used for reading the Bible, speaking its promises, and acting on what the Word says. Learn practical strategies for reading, studying, and meditating on the Bible, speaking Scripture over your life, and walking out the Word in faith. 
We will also send you Sarah's Devoted to the Bible devotional, their Speak the Word booklet, and Marilyn's Daily Scripture Confessions card. And for your gift of $50 or more, you'll receive a signed copy of Read It, Speak It, Do It to keep for yourself or share with a friend or loved one. Victory begins when you read it, speak it, and do it. Call or click today for this anointed offer. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org or call us at 800-627-1995. Thank you for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. And you know, I want to just kind of tie up some things here for you and for me together. Are you okay with that? I think you are. So Father, I just pray for everyone who's watching this. I thank you that you are watching over them and they know that it's not just them watching for you, but you're watching for them and that you have good things ahead. And we come against the enemy who would try to destroy anything that belongs to us in Jesus' name. And we speak life and vitality, and we speak revival to our nation. God, why not? Why not? So we just pray for our nation to have tremendous revival. May we not complain, but may we pray. And we don't know how to give up, but we know this, we're going to win because Jesus wins. The name of Jesus wins. That's the winning name. And we're speaking that over our nation today. We are a winning nation. Revival is hitting us on every level in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, just keep this in mind. You prayed for revival. And I want you to get my book, read it, speak it, do it, because we're praying revival. This will help you keep revival cooking in your heart. God is cooking for you and for me. What is it? Revival. Revival.